Welcome, my friends, to Shaking the Salt with Dr. Peppers. At the end of the message, stay tuned if you want to contact me for any reason, including prayers. Thank you. And I'm Dr. Peppers, Shaking the Salt. Here we go. As some of you know, I have been living with pain for the last 20 years or so. And yes, it has gotten progressively worse, as many of you know, because I believe that everybody lives with some kind of pain. I just think that that's part of our human experience. Yours may not be physical. We have a friend whose spouse just up and left him, and the pain of that is something I can't even imagine, or the death of a child, or the emotional, the spiritual. Some people are in pain because they have been through a serious depression. I have another dear friend going through that kind of pain. The pain of rejection, the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain. What are we going to do with the pain? We're going to buy some more drugs. We're going to get so zonked out. Going to have us a stiff toddy. That's what we need. (laughs) Or how about, I think I just need to pop some pills. And that's why a lot of the teenagers today, at least, you know, even when I was teaching, they were still saying, I just need some Something to help me forget about reality. What? I thought we want reality. Change our reality, right? Well, what if you can't change it? This past weekend, we had such a very successful event for women who have been recovering and have recovered, I believe, from addiction. I know, having done jail ministry for many years also, that often you go back to the same old thing. And in scripture, it's very graphic, and they hate it when I say this one, as a dog returns to its vomit. Yep, that's in the Bible. That's what we keep going back to, or we go around the mountain a thousand times until we finally learn. So this weekend, I got to be a beautiful mermaid with the mermaid tail and the long purple flowing hair, and it was a lot of fun as I was the MC for a big event, but I did a lot of it in pain. And I take this pain pill called gabapentin for the sciatic nerve that's out of the lower back down to my leg, and I had to take more than I usually would have, and that's not good. I know that. So yesterday, as a little bit of suffering was worsened and had to lie down a lot after church yesterday, you just press through it, right? No, you pray for God to take it because he will decrease and help you through the amount to which you not only are willing to do a little bit on your part, but to also trust him. So a couple of the scriptures I depend on, one of my favorites is from James 1, 2, and 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Now, yes, I keep praying. Yes, I've been to every doctor and every kind of uh, health advocate along the way for the past 20 years, and I am currently waiting, scheduling for back surgery. They're going to actually drill into the lower spine around this nerve area so that the nerve can flow freely through and not not be pinched in the way it is and not go down to the leg area where it causes the sciatica. Now, yes, I'm waiting for that and I'm putting a lot of faith in that, but that's not where my true faith is. My true faith is from Isaiah 43 two. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. And John 16 says, I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you'll have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. So we have all that we need for our faith and our peace in the midst of this. And when you understand, my friend, that you're not alone, whatever it is you're going through, and some of you are going through so much worse than I am. My sister Donna just had hip surgery, and she's still walking with a walker until she can completely overcome that and with the pain in her knee. 
disease and our friend who's just been faced with divorce and never saw it coming. And worse than anything, my friend who at an early age saw her mom and dad die with her in a car wreck. I can't even imagine what some of you have gone through. And there are people around the world dealing with famine and seeing their babies die of starvation. I can't even go there with my mind and my thoughts, but I can pray. I have learned there is power in prayer. And when we bring out our prayer list every morning, as my husband and I do, we pray over all of it, including all 500 plus names, but we single out one or two that we know really need prayer right now for this day and for their situation. And many times we will see God miraculously answer that prayer or our prayer, and sometimes he doesn't. And sometimes we see the opposite of what we would have chosen, but God has the best answer always. And so that's why we continue to press on through the pain. Don't allow the enemy, don't allow old Satan himself to get you down so that you cannot press through, because that's exactly what he would have you do. You might as well just sit there and die. That's what Job's wife told him. Oh, just curse your God and die. What's the matter with you? But he pressed through, and he trusted God, and his latter days were better than the first. Yep, my friend, it's not how you begin, it's how you end. It's not what you go through, it's that you go through. You don't just come up to it and stop and, but I can't, it's too hard, I'll never make it. I just can't do this again. And I feel like that sometimes my poor husband has seen me curl up in a fetal position just saying, Oh, I just, just give me a minute for it to just get through this. And I thank God that I have various tools that I can use, like they've implanted a stimulator battery in my spine. That was one. I have the little gabapentin pills that I can take for the pain. And I have a great and mighty God that is there to deliver me. The one who will be my source. He is the beginner and the finisher of my faith. He is the first and the last. He is the Alpha, the Omega, and he will be the one who ushers me home. One last one. Blessed, James says, is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. That's what he wants, our love. And just to believe that he is and that he is the rewarder. My friend, right now, whatever you're going through, I'm going to pray for you. And as I do that, I'm praying for all of those pressing through pain. And this is the way you do it, my friend. Ask God. Just believe and ask him to heal you. We don't have to beg and whine and tell him you can't go on. Just ask him, lay it at his feet. I know I've asked you, God, this before, but I'm going to repeat it again for me. So here's where we go to prayer. God, thank you that I can come to the throne of grace and mercy on behalf of my friend listening and my own behalf, those that are suffering physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially, in their relationships, in their families. God, you know what you would have us to do. And that's what we pray. Show us the way, Lord. And in the meantime, whatever you put before us as a task or an assignment, we will press through the pain and go forward. Thank you, God, that in the end, we know we will be healed. And if you choose to heal us before that, thank you for that as well. And God, just comfort those who are hurting so desperately right now and remind us all, Lord, that you are in the midst of it, whatever we're going through, and that you are still our Jehovah Rapha healer and that we can trust you for you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I pray that healing for my friend listening. I pray it for myself in whatever way you choose to do that, Lord. And in advance, we thank you according to your word, Mark eleven twenty four. praying and believing as if we've already received in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I pray that you be healed in the precious name of our Savior. Amen.
and amen. And I'm Dr. Pepper, shaking the salt. Thanks for staying on, my friend. If you would like to contact me, visit saltandlightministry.com. If you want to share your story with me, ask a question, have me come speak to your group, or maybe just request prayer. Once again, saltandlightministry.com. Thanks and God bless.